We are just over the halfway mark of the Ahsoka series and today we're going to break down some of the main characters to see which pops have been trending up and which ones have been trending down. Here we go. What's going on everybody? Welcome back to the channel. So thoroughly I have really enjoyed the Ahsoka series thus far and I'm going to give this warning right here in the beginning of the video. There may be some potential spoilers for the Ahsoka series if you are not caught up to date through the first five episodes thus far. I'm going to do my best to not reveal any of the major spoilers. However, in talking about some of the main characters and specifically talking about some of their pops trending upward or downward, that may reveal some key information information for the series. So if you haven't seen all five episodes, now is your chance. Click off the video and then come back once you've caught up on the series. So now we're going to jump into some of the main characters from the Ahsoka series and talk about some pops that I've noticed rising in value and some of them have actually gone down in value, which I find very interesting, but we're going to break it all down, starting with the woman of the hour, and that of course is Ahsoka. Now there is one Ahsoka pop in particular that I want to highlight, and that one of course is the Rebels version of Ahsoka. Now when it comes to this pop, there's a couple different versions. There was an overseas re-release, there was also a restock thanks to Hot Topic. I want to specifically target the original 2016 release of this pop. I think this is one of the best Ahsoka pops. I actually did a full breakdown of every single Ahsoka Funko Pop. If you guys want to go check out that video, I will link it above. I did it a few weeks back before the Ahsoka series dropped. But the original 2016 Hot Topic Rebels Ahsoka was trending for about $50 before the Ahsoka series came out. And now it's trending for $65. So that original release has gone up a little bit. However, if you want to get any version of the Rebels Ahsoka, there are some other cheaper options. I also want to mention, of course, that there is another brand new Ahsoka pop on the way that Funko announced before the show dropped, and I think it looks all right, but I definitely think a lot of people are going to continue to go after this version in the long run. The next character that I want to talk about is somebody that a lot of people, including myself, were very excited to see make the jump from animation to live action, and that, of course, is Hera. Now, Hera Hera has actually played a pretty big role in the Ahsoka series thus far. She has to balance a lot of different things right now. She, of course, is a general in the New Republic. She's also a mother to Jason, and she also has to balance being an ally to Ahsoka. So she has a very complex role. Now, when it comes to Hera and her Funko Pops, there is one from the Rebels line, which I actually thought was going to be going up a little bit more than it has. It was selling for around $47 to $50 when the show first dropped and now it's trending for 50 to 52 it really hasn't seen much increase to you know notate or anything however there are a couple other Hera pops on the way and I think that is a huge reason as to why this one hasn't gone up very much there's a Hera and X-Wing pop ride that's going to be coming out that's going to be exclusive to Amazon and then there's also another brand new Hera common pop that was announced by Funko for the new Ahsoka wave I don't particularly think that this specific Hera pop is that exciting. I definitely really like the X-Wing one, but one pop that I would absolutely love to see is Hera in the Ghost Ship. I think that would make an excellent San Diego Comic-Con exclusive next year, Funko. The Ghost, of course, is in the Ahsoka series. We saw it in the trailer. It's an iconic Star Wars vehicle, and it's piloted by Hera, and I think it would make an awesome pop ride that a lot of people would love to have for their collection. But in the meantime, the original Hera pop has has not seen much increase. Now next up we're going to be talking about another character that the Star Wars community as a whole was dying to see make the jump from animation to live action form and that of course is Sabine. And for whatever reason, there's something weird going on with one of the Sabine Funko Pops that I wanted to address. Now, as far as Sabine's original Pops from the Rebels line specifically, there's an unmasked one which did not have a re-release. There was no special edition version of it or anything. That one has seen a little bit of an increase in price. It was trending for about $50 to $55 before the show dropped. Now, four weeks into the show, it's going for anywhere from $60 to $65. So it's seen a little bit of an increase. However, the one that's been really weird, and I'm trying to wrap my head around what's going on with the masked 
Walgreens exclusive Sabine Pop. And I've even seen some people ask me about this in the comments section of some of our recent Star Wars videos. So I have two theories as to what's going on here. So to give you guys a quick background of what's going on with this pop, the masked Sabine Walgreens original Rebels pop was trending for $80 before the Ahsoka series dropped. We all knew that Sabine was going to be in the show. She was in the trailer and everything. However, this pop is currently going for $38. It has absolutely plummeted in price. And there is something really weird going on because not only has it come down in price, it's been selling for much less than $38. There have been several sales in the neighborhood of $25 to $35, which is indicating that this one is going to continue dropping in value. Now, unlike the unmasked Sabine, this masked Sabine pop right here has actually been restocked and re-released in two different forms. There's a special edition sticker version, and then there's also a no sticker version. And I have two quick theories on why this pop has plummeted in price. I think some people were upset with what happened in episode one in regards to Sabine. So as a result, they might have gone to the market and decided that they're going to sell a few of their Sabine pops, including this one. So that one could have attributed to the price coming down. I don't think that is the main thing that's going on right here. I think my second theory is a little bit more spot on as to what's happening. And if you guys remember a couple seconds ago, I talked about how there's a no sticker version of the Sabine Pop. I think unfortunately some people are taking Walgreens stickers from either other Walgreens exclusives or they're just reprinting their own Walgreens sticker, which I've seen several people in the community do, and they're placing it on that uh, much cheaper unstickered version re-release of the Mass Sabine. They're selling it for $25 to $35 because that's, you know, they're just dumping it on the market and that's what they think they can get for it right off the bat. People are paying that, thinking that it's the older version, the $80 to $90 version before the show, and as a result, this pop is plummeting in price. Those are my two theories. I would love to hear everyone's thoughts down in the comment section below. Regardless of what's going on, this is very unusual for such a popular character at the peak of a very exciting Star Wars show. And now moving into another beloved main character that once again, a lot of people were very excited to see make the jump from animation to live action form, much including myself, and that of course is Chopper the Droid. Now, Chopper is a fan favorite when it comes to the Rebels family, and unlike Sabine, Chopper's pops have been going up, specifically the original Chopper pops. The first one that I want to talk about is the regular original one. That one has seen a nice price spike from going for around $70 to $80 to now trending over $100, which is fantastic to see for a common pop released in 2016. Now, you guys are going to be blown away by the other version of Chopper, and you guys may not even know about this pop. There is an error version of Chopper where it actually only says chop on the box. This is not only amazing and very unique because Chop is actually what a lot of the characters in the Rebels family, on the Ghost crew, and in the Ahsoka series refer to the beloved droid as. So it's kind of a very convenient mistake that Funko happened to make. There's very few of these on the market, and as a result, this one has gone up quite a bit. It's practically doubled in price since the Ahsoka show has released. It was going for around $115 before the show, and now it's trending for $220, and there's even been several sales for this specific error pop over $300, which is really cool to see. Now, also in regards to Chopper, there is a brand new common pop on the way. I think that this is the most boring droid pop that I have ever seen. I know Chopper is not a very dynamic character when it comes to his stance and his you know abilities and body parts and everything, but he is literally just standing there as a droid for this new pop, and I couldn't think of a more boring version. So as a result, I think people are not going to be picking this one up. They're going to want to get the original release as well as the error one at some point for their collection, and it's just going to keep rising in price. Well, now we're going to take a break from talking about the rest Rebels Pop specifically and talking about another character that needs absolutely no introduction, especially if you're a diehard Star Wars fan, and that of course is Captain Rex. 
Now, there's been a lot going on with the NYCC version of the Captain Rex Funko Pop, so we have to talk about it. The con sticker version of Captain Rex was trending for around $390 to $400 before the Ahsoka series dropped. It's now going for $730. Absolutely insane for a con pop from 2018, but at the end of the day, it is Captain Rex and I would expect nothing less. This pop has even been selling for in the neighborhood of $900 to $1,000 for the con sticker. Once again, absolutely crazy. The shared sticker on the other hand, has some other noteworthy details that I want to talk about. So the shared sticker was going for around $440 to $450. It has also seen a little bit of a price increase as it's currently trending for around $470. Not that much of a price spike compared to the con sticker one, but still, a noteworthy pop to talk about because Captain Rex is such a prominent character from not only Rebels, the Clone Wars, and of course the prequels, but $500, you know, for a shared sticker exclusive is absolutely insane. A non-numbered pop going for $500 for the shared and a almost a thousand for the con sticker is absolutely crazy. So we'll definitely have to continue to keep an eye on Captain Rex. Also, regarding Captain Rex, I don't think they're going to be making another version of him anytime soon. So I definitely think that this one is going to continue going up in value, especially if you're willing to shell out big bucks for the con sticker. And now this last character that we're going to be talking about is somebody that is practically on everyone's minds nowadays. He's been name dropped countless times in the Ahsoka series thus far, and he was even name dropped as far back as the Mandalorian season two by none other than Ahsoka herself. And that of course is Grand Admiral Thrawn. For those of you guys who have been collecting pops for at least a few years, you may know that there is currently, as of the recording of this video, only one Grand Admiral Thrawn Funko Pop. It was a 2017 <laughs> Star Wars Celebration exclusive and it is absolutely gorgeous. Right here I have the shared sticker version and we got to break down several details really quick. So as of right now the con sticker version of Grand Admiral Thrawn, the actual celebration sticker version is currently going for $800. Before the series started it was going for around $420 and it is once again practically doubled in value in a few short weeks. Now, a few people have asked whether they, that I think they should go out and grab a Grand Admiral Thrawn pop for their collection. I don't think that you should grab the Celebration official con sticker version of Thrawn. I think that if you want to get the original version of Thrawn, you should get the shared sticker if it's in your budget. And I got two reasons why for you. The first reason is the shared sticker has actually gone down. So unlike the con sticker version, the shared sticker was trending for around $370 before the show dropped, and now it's currently going for $340. So even though $30 isn't that much, it's gone down. So, which is pretty interesting. The second reason why I don't think you should buy the Celebration version of Thrawn is because similar to what we talked about with Sabine, I also think that there are a lot of people out there doing sticker swaps with the con version of Grand Admiral Thrawn. It's very easy to get a con sticker off a cheaper pop from that same convention and I think that no doubt people are peeling off the shared sticker and putting on that con sticker because if they can sell it for upwards of eight to nine hundred dollars as opposed to three hundred dollars why wouldn't they? And at the end of the day, if it's a real pop and a real con sticker, there is absolutely no way to tell that you got sticker swapped or sticker scammed because the only way to tell is if there's a little bit of residue on the back of the sticker or if there's a slight indent on the corner where you can see that someone peeled it. If somebody really took their time and did it right and actually put the sticker on there, there's absolutely no way for you to tell and you're gonna be shelling out a whole heck of a lot of money for a pop that is not truly authentic. Now, another question that I've been getting a lot recently is if I think Funko is going to make another Grand Admiral Thrawn Funko Pop. 
Absolutely. With the amount of times that he has been name dropped in the show, we physically saw his face in the trailer and we've known for a long time that Disney was going to bring him into the live action Disney Plus universe. Without a doubt, there is another Grand Admiral Thrawn Funko Pop coming, if not several. Now, if Funko was smart, they would make it very unique and very different from this one. Or, hopefully, at the very least, they make it a con exclusive. Once again, I think he'd be a great candidate for a San Diego Comic-Con exclusive next year. But we will see. Time will tell. I really don't think you guys should buy a con sticker version of this pop. I myself don't have a celebration version of this pop. I have the shared one because I got the shared one for much cheaper than what the celebration con one was going for. And I just didn't want to risk, you know, buying a pop that was sticker swap. So save your money, you know, be smart, be frugal, and also wait it out. There is without a doubt a Thrawn pop coming. It's going to be $15 retail when it first drops. So there's a very good chance that you'll be able to get a Thrawn for your collection without having to shell out a lot of money. But guys, that's going to do it for today's video. Let me know down in the comments section below if you've noticed any other trends, whether up or down, with some other Star Wars characters that are prominent right now in the universe. I'm also going to be doing a follow-up video to this one with some of the other main characters from the Ahsoka show that we have not talked about today. I'll be doing that after the Ahsoka show ends. So be on the lookout for that video. Subscribe if you're new to the channel. Give me a like button or smash that like button. And as always, don't stop shooting until you score.